to Nail Liz. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Karima. Thank you very much for having us. Good, good. Uh, Captain, let's talk to you first. Just take us through the experience that you guys went through um, uh, during that uh, T20 World Cup series. Um, it's, it's something very special. I mean, you represent your nation when you, come, when you go to a World Cup. And, and just to play at these events against the best in the world, it's very, very special. And, and the experiences and the memories you make, um, it's, it's really it's hard to put it into words. It's just very, very special, and we enjoyed every, every second of it. Mm. Speaking of the experiences, um, Sunei, let's talk to you. What is it that um, actually you learned from this tournament? What's the one thing that you say, look, um, I, I got away from that tournament, and this is the one thing I've learned from it? Well, I think um, most, uh, mostly yeah, we've learned that um, we can beat anyone in the world. We have the talent, we have the skill, and that we just have to back our skills and then um, you know, just back ourselves and just trust each other and just play for each other and then all will go well. Talking about picking up yourself, um, Captain uh, Sunei, let's talk about um, what would you say was the team's downfall? And obviously, uh, we did very, very well against New Zealand to, mm -hmm. to play. It was almost like a quarterfinal to get into that semifinals. And that, for us, was, was a major achievement because before that, we've never reached the semifinal stage. Mm -hmm. so it was very special. But I, I think against England, they've been in that position um, just, just so many times before. We haven't really played in the semifinal, the TV, anything before. And I think that helped them. Um, but, but all in all, I do think we, we still play a good game of cricket and, and we're going to mm. face them uh, in a few months' time and I do think we're definitely going to give them a run for their money. Mm. So, Ray, um, I see you looking at those visuals very closely. What, what comes to mind when you, when you see these visuals, actually? Well, um, I think sadness, actually. We wanted to be there so badly, mm. but we couldn't. But we know next time, we know what we have to do and we just got to back ourselves again and just go for it. Tell us about the highlights. What were your highlights in this competition? Well, I think um, my batting against um, Australia, I got 19 from nine balls mm -hmm. in the last Sweet. over, yeah. And then my batting also against Ireland, also 29 of 10 balls. And then obviously the one wicket where I got the England captain out in the semi-final. Mm. <laughs> uh, Mignon, let's talk about the team's experience. What is it that you'd say as a team you've learned from this um, competition? Because I, be I, I believe that you guys did well, but obviously, like you were saying, you're playing against the best in the world. Yes, I think as a team, we showed tremendous growth over the past few months. Um, and just at the World Cup, I think before that, going into the World Cup, we haven't really beaten a team in the top four before. And by beating um, the New Zealanders, they were expected to win this World Cup. So mm -hmm. that was something very special. And as a team, we just um, fought for each other all in all. The girls showed character throughout the, the, the whole uh, World Cup. And I think it was just very special to see that, listen, um, when you believe in yourself and you believe and, and, you're, and you did the hard work, um, it will pay off eventually. And that's what happened. And we're very chuffed with our achievement. Um, we currently, before the World Cup, we were ranked six and now we rank third in the world. So that in itself is a major achievement. So I'm very, very proud of what we've accomplished. So now let's talk about that. Now you are um, ranking amongst the top three in the world, the pressure that comes with that. Um, what is it that you think going forward we need to do to maintain that position, if not taking it actually higher? Um, yeah, there's obviously pressure um, the higher you go into the world. But um, I think we just have to um, play our game and not to worry about everything else. We just we came this far by doing what we have done. Mm -hmm. But I think by doing just that e extra bit, we can go more. We can become one number one in the world. Mm. Captain, um, what would you say? Um, would you say there's enough? Enough has been done to support. Um, the, the sport to support cricket in, in this country of ours? I must say we're very privileged since Momentum got on board. Um, they were the first official sponsor for the national women's team and, and with the involvement we, we had the privilege of contacting six goals, mm -hmm. which is a major step in the right direction for us already. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, I do think that we're still um, a little bit behind with some of the other countries in terms of um, getting all the goals contacts, but mm -hmm. I do think we, we're heading in the right direction. It's all in all now just about creating more awareness that mm -hmm. people start noticing that, listen, there is girls playing cricket and they have a lot of talent and skills and, um, and just give them the credit that there is uh, uh, that, that needs to go their way. Now, um, for us to have a strong uh, cricket national team, we need to have a strong local competitive cricket um, league. Um, how competitive is our local um, ladies cricket league? Um, it is quite competitive. Um, mm -hmm. It is still a little bit behind in terms of the rest of the world, but I do think that uh, we start, we've got a program KFC mini cricket that they start girls playing cricket at, at grassroots level. Mm -hmm. Then it goes, we tend to lose a little bit of the girls in primary school, but high school there's, there's leagues in, in some of the schools and then obviously there's club and, and provincial structures where the girls can compete quite throughout the year. We've got quite a long season which is very fun. Mm. We've read out of time, just briefly, where to uh, from here for the team? Um, we have a very exciting time ahead of us. I think there's quite a few games. Um, the, the, the biggest thing for us would be now to face England in, in 
August, beginning of September, three televised games, uh, and one of the games would be a curtain raiser for their men's team, England versus India, and I think that's very exciting. Ladies, thanks you. Thank uh, you thanks a lot for us. coming through this morning. Thank you for having us. Um, that was Proteus captain Mignon Dupree and a teammate.